is the Kenya Kwanza regime losing touch with Mwananchi? Hello and welcome to the Socrato TV, your favorite channel where we explore, discuss, and discover hidden stories shaping our political landscape. Yesterday, the cabinet secretary in charge of roads and transport was recorded in a video uh, actually rejecting a job uh, request from a Kenyan very rudely. If you can remember the Kenya Kwanza regime where Kipchumba Murkomen uh, comes from or the party that he actually uh, follows ideologically when they were coming to power they said that they are looking for the people who are down bottom up to, and to uplift them. In fact, in number of activities, they promised that they will actually take care of the people of low influence and at the same time uh, disrupt the status quo by actually dealing with the people who have been accumulating a lot of resources over a very long t time. Little did the people of the Republic of Kenya know or knew that they were actually meaning the opposite. So in this video, we want to look into that uh, scenario where the cabinet secretary uh, roads and transport keep Chumba Murkomen dealt with the Mwananchi just seeking for a job ruthlessly and what it means f for him as an individual and even the whole government led by UDA. Before we start analyzing this situation, if you are new to our channel, please just take one second, hit the subscribe button and also hit the thumbs up button so that we can continue interacting here when I release another content. Now back to our analysis. Kipchumba Murkomen, who is the minister in charge of transport, first of all the action he did or the way he behaved does not sit well with Mwananchi and what he's doing is actually distancing himself from the common Mwananchi. Uh, in most cases, rulers or leaders, when they have ascended to power, they usually look at themselves as special uh, or different to Mwananchi and from such they want to be treated as special. So Kipchumba Murukumen may have felt like insulted or belittled by an individual who is only but seeking a job from him, him and in his mind that is the mind of Kipchumba Murukumen that is the mind that has actually been affected by power he feels that this individual should look for jobs through another person that is through maybe his PA or maybe through the rele relevant uh, job position job uh, relevant official uh, seeking job places uh, but in most cases that usually does not happen so that was first uh, reason why i believe that kim chumba murkomen actually responded to this individual seeking for a job in that manner another reason is that when this people were looking for power, if you remember, the UDA regime. They were actually relating with Mwananchi so much. They wanted to show 
that they were the voices of Mananchi. They wanted to show that the Azimio la Umoja or the opposing side was not for Mananchi, which is, of course, a tactic that politicians use uh, to ensure that they land into to power. And luckily they were able uh, to take power. And now today, what we are seeing is they are showing their true colors. Their true colors. Now, uh, it's like when you uh, want an individual uh, is suffering for some reasons. Or let me use this uh, analogy of feeding a lion. When a lion is very young and very small, it is just a cub. It is usually very vulnerable and requires support, especially if maybe if it doesn't have their mother. The mother, or, uh, it, maybe it has been abandoned somewhere in the forest. So if a person finds such kind of an animal, then feeds it, it becomes healthy, he takes care of it, then once the animal matures, it discovers that this is not the real mother. And the reason why it was being humbled or just it wanted to look vulnerable is actually because it had no power at that particular time of doing so. So after it becoming strong enough even to live without uh, this person who fed it, then it can turn out uh, against the person. We have instances where lions or even pets that have been uh, domesticated have turned against the people who domesticated them. So using that analogy, what I'm trying to say is that Kipchumba Murkomen, like the many other leaders of United Democratic Alliance, while they were looking for these positions, it was expected or normally uh, they would have acted in line with what they wanted at that particular time. You know, they say that the strategies you use to get to power are different with the strategies that you use to govern. So uh, the, the, the strategy they used to ascend to the power were through uh, looking vulnerable, seeking sympathy, appearing to be together with Mwananchi, and all that. Now, the fact that they have uh, reached to power and they have the power in their hands, they also have to change the strategies because the goal they are seeking at the moment is very different from the goal or the mission they were having at the other uh, time when they were seeking election. So the current goal they have is to keep the power and, yeah, just to keep the power because that is what they are currently holding and prevent any possibility of losing it. So that's the reason why Kipchum Mokomen is not really bothered about those people. And I don't think such will have happened in any instance when they were seeking election. But remember, this does not come without some consequences. As they say, every action usually has equal uh, reaction. So the reaction that this kind of activities or this kind of behaviors that you are seeing from some ministers like Kipchumba, Murkomen are also inevitable. First of all, this issue or this video has actually been trending throughout Twitter for the whole of uh, yesterday or night and I looked through the comments, the comments were not very favorable, more so to the side of Kipchumba Murkomen, meaning that people are not happy with the way he behaved or the way he acted uh, against the person who was seeking for a job. Maybe the people believe he will have said something like, no, I am not the one who gives jobs, uh, or maybe have directed the person. Uh, to the right channel, okay? Or perhaps you'll have 
Maybe told him, see me later. You know, even by just saying, see me later, and not actually meaning it, it will have saved him from the public outrage that he's actually suffering from. So people are actually not happy with what they did. And that means they are losing the support. That is the politicians uh, and even the government in general are now losing the support that they had before they got into election. And there's nothing that worries a politician more than when they know that they are losing the ground. So as much as they may look at this as something little or something small with a minor repercussion, it does not have the minor repercussion. Remember, there are a number of people in this country who are also suffering in one way or another. And when they see that the leaders, the people whom they believe will have helped them, are not actually acting uh, in a way that will have helped them, then of course that builds up a momentum w which could lead to them getting voted out. And in some uh, instances, extreme instances, we have countries where people have regrouped and revolted against the regimes. So it is unfortunate for the cabinet secretary because also it changes the perspective of how people view him. People believe, now majority of the people who saw the video believe that he's arrogant and doesn't care. Remember the cabinet secretary who we've seen dressing lavishly, uh, dressing over 100,000, putting on one over 100,000 shoes, uh, wearing a watch worth 3 million. As that is good for them. That is, it's good if you have money, you can use it as you like. But the issue is, how do you handle the people who have given you the power to do that which you're supposed to do? So I believe that the ground is becoming hostile and such kind of uh, things, when continued, the ground will even be more uh, and more hostile. But at least uh, Kipchumba Murkomen still has a chance. He still has a chance to actually correct what he did. Remember, public perception, martial in politics is very important. And why do I say he has a chance? Considering that the situation happened yesterday, he can even just call the person or find the individual whom he responded to rudely, take with him a photo, and just say, no, he maybe he had some issues, that's why he responded that way, or he did not mean it in a bad way. Like, he need to explain himself in one way or another, because he's a public figure, and he has the, the people have uh, interest in what he says, and how he does, and what he behaves. So, I remember even Ababu Namuamba at some point uh, also made such kind of blunder. Ababu Namuamba is the cabinet secretary in charge of sports, where he and, and a person had actually brushed his shoes. So people, there was a backlash on Twitter where people really responded negatively about it and say that this regime is having people who believe or feel like they are entitled to things. They are treating people like slaves. I saw he went, took a photo with the person, and even took tea with him, which, although it may be looked as a way of trying to, uh, pretending to be together with that individual, but at least it changes the public perception. Because public perception is very, very important, and it can have consequences that w which... Uh, Kipchumba Murkaman, who is the cabinet secretary for that docket, may not have been have anticipated. So I believe he has time. He can call the person and, if possible, even seek for forgiveness because this person is a someone's parent. Maybe he has some issues he wants to solve. And 
by the way he acted to him was not the best way or the best thing he could have done so that is it and even as i finalize this analysis i would also like to uh, congratulate kenyans for being vigilant about such kind of things and speaking out when that happens you know that's what brings in awareness and it is one way of checking in the government remember the government is being ruled or is being held by individuals people like me and you people who have blood people who are vulnerable to emotions people who have other issues so if you leave a human being without checking them then the errors or failures that come with human beings are likely to be shown in the decisions that they make so i think twitter and other social media sites and even individual leaders including the oppositions should continue checking the government not for the purpose of malice but to ensure that the country is run well and the human aspect of uh, people or the leaders does not take charge so i believe as i end kipchumba murkomen still has a chance to go and seek forgiveness and even just appear to be humble you know when he appears to be humble people will even like him remember he personally i believe he has nothing to lose in this and if he thinks he has something to lose then he should not ask forgiveness and that is when he will know that he will have something to lose so i leave you uh, with a question do you believe that kipchumba murkomen did the right thing and do you think she should seek for forgiveness or should he just keep quiet and move on like nothing happened you can tell us at the comment box and please do not forget to subscribe and like our video if you found value in this uh, video please hit the share so that the video can reach to more people thank you so much until we meet again bye bye